So, just another quick video about the new Split Pack Pages feature that was added to the latest version of Virtual D-Day 2021, which is built 6503 at the time of this recording. So what are Split Pack Pages? Well, as you can probably guess from the name, it has something to do with the Pad section down here and the Pad Pages that you can select in the drop-down. So right now, the hot cues are selected, and I've loaded a track that has two hot cues. So now I can, of course, trigger those two on the two first pads. Like this. Like you would expect. But now you can actually select a second pad page to fit only half the pads. So how, do, how does that work? Well, uh, of course, there are eight, eight pads here, and each pad page has eight pads also. So what will happen is that it takes the first first four ones from the first pad page and the first four ones from the second pad page, the split pad page. So if I go into the drop down again, you can see that I have, of course have a queue selected, but if I go into split page, you can see that I have them again down here in the drop down and this split pad page sub menu is brand new. So if I go in here and I have, select for instance a sampler, then what happens is I have the first four samples here now. And I still have the same two hot cues up here. So I can, of course, trigger those two, like you would expect. Another interesting thing is that it has combined the names, although it has shortened the hot cues name a little bit, and that it has actually also combined the menus. So the first menu up here is from the hot cues pad page, and the second one down here is from the sampler pad page. So it's a combination of the two. So that's, that's nice, now we have, have those two that we have combined, and if we look at the drop-down, we can see we have still have the hot cues selected, and on the split drop-down, we have the sampler selected. But we can also actually also choose to save them as one pad page now. So if I click that one, you can see nothing happens, but if you look down here, you can see you still have the same hot cues, and have the same split pad page, but down at the bottom, you have a new one called HE plus sampler. And if I select that one, again, nothing happens because it's just a saved combination. But if you look in the drop down, that's the one that's selected now, and no split pad page is selected. Since it's now a regular pad page that we have combined, you can also go into edit, and you can actually locate it, and you can start editing the combination. You see this is from the sampler. Move it over a little bit. This is from the sampler, and this is from the, uh, uh, the hot cues. So you can actually edit it to fit your needs. So you don't just have to stick with the one that's been combined, you can edit it afterwards. Now, some pad pages, like for instance, stem separation, uh, will suffer uh, if you only get the top row here, because then what about the kick and the hi-hat? So for some pad pages, there's been a secondary pad page uh, created so that when you use it in a split pad page, the, the top part actually changes. So now if I keep the stems pad page and I combine it with a split pad page, let's say for instance, loop roll, then you can see I get a new fourth pad up here called rhythm. That's actually a combination of the old hi-hat and kick. So I have access to, still have access to all the five stems. It's just that the two that has something to do with rhythm has been automatically combined to one. But that's also pretty cool. This is, of course, also meant to be used with controllers. So if I connect the controller now, this is a DTJ 400, like that. Then in a second, it'll switch, and you can see it now. So now it has the pad page that's currently selected on the controller. So I have hot cues, that's the first uh, pad, uh, pad selector button. And I can click the next one, which is loop. And we see it changes between hot cues and loop, just like you would expect when I do that on the controller. Uh, of course, I can also remap it. So I can go in here and I can say, well, for instance, the effects, I instead now want those to be the HC plus sampler. So if I then click the third one now, it gives me the HC plus sampler in here. So I can actually select the new ones so they will work in the future as combined or split pad pages. But I can also do it directly on the controller, so I don't need to, to use the one that I've, I have saved, which means I can click the hot cue on here, 
uh, and I can then hold the hot cue one and then click the next one, which is a loop one. So now I get the combination done directly on a controller instead of selecting one that has been saved. So now, I can, of course, I get the, the hot cues on the top part. Like you would expect. And I get the loop on the second part. Like this. So you don't need to only use the ones you have, the split pad pages that you have saved. You can do it directly on the controller using the, the hold of the, uh, the, the, the pad selector buttons. So if I click hot cues again, it of course goes back to the, the regular one, like that. So that was just a little bit about the new split pad pages functionality, the new feature, and how you can use it directly in OCTJ or on a controller.